Defense and Veteran Affairs. Still in the interest of time, I will want to ride on the protocol already set. Good afternoon. Your Excellency, it is my greatest pleasure on behalf of the Uganda People's Defense Forces to welcome you and all the guests who are here today for this 13th Saturday Sita Thanksgiving. Ah, is it still breakfast? <laughs> Which is the culmination of the commemoration of this year's Tarei Sita 43rd anniversary, which we recently uh, celebrated in the Busoga region. As you have heard, it has uh, become an annual celebration anchored in a divine reflection as an apex of our Tarei Sita activities, which normally take us to the people. And so this event here brings us to God. So like we go to the people to commemorate Tarei Sita, so do we come here to thank God for UPDF's numerous achievements which have been already detailed by uh, earlier speakers. This year's Thanksgiving theme is drawn from Psalm 116, verse 12, and says, How shall I repay the Lord for his benefits? to me, for his benefits to the UPDF. It is a theme chosen by the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in our organizers, especially Mrs. Buturo. <clears throat> and so I very much believe that this manifestation of faithfulness and thankfulness remains on the fortitude and the fear of the Lord. One philosopher and uh, an evangelist is lacking in the perception and the perception and faith without thankfulness lacks strength and fortitude. That's why in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, he says, In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> Giving breakfast recognizes, therefore, the sacrificial contribution of those who have made Uganda what it is today, and therefore, the theme chosen for its event, for this event, is truly benefiting. And as stipulated in the concept, which is uh, in the booklet before everybody, here we both recognize the central role of God, not only in the matters of the UPDF, but also in the affairs of Uganda and the very African people, as you have heard that we are now exporters of peace and security in the region. It's also worth noting that while Uganda has had a number of armies in the past, what separates the UPDF from the previous armies is its clear ideology, which is enshrined in its unique principles and ideals and values, obviously, with the guidance of a visionary and a committed leadership by Your Excellency. Because of that, 
UPDF has continued to fulfill its mission of totally liberating Uganda and playing a positive role in the Pan-Africanism and will continue to do so in the defense of Uganda and the African people. For this, therefore, if you allow Your Excellency, may I request that we have a minute of silence in a prayerful honor of those who lost their lives defending our motherland. Their souls in eternal peace. As I said, that it has become an annual event. Every year, we try to focus this prayer breakfast to special category of stakeholders with an alienable bond with the revolution. Since 2011, we have celebrated, among others, the heroes of the revolution, living or dead, the widows of the revolution, children of fallen comrades, soldiers without, with disabilities. The list is in, a, in, a, in that booklet. Now, this year, the category we are celebrating, we are focusing on, is the UPDF professional force. We are recognizing professionalism in the various achievements of the people's forces in operations, in other operations other than war, including Operation Wealth Creation, in production, we are now more into production so that we can contribute to the development of the country and then civil military relations, among others. Therefore, Articles 208 and 209 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda on the creation of the Defense Forces and the functions of the Defense Forces have not been in vain. Because our history is interspersed with the divine blessings. We see a team of characterized, a team characterized by foresight and early revelation, sacrifice and patriotism, pan-Africanism and visionary leadership, charisma, steadfastness, and veraciousness. It is no wonder, therefore, that Fronansa, NRA, UPDF was born of this meticulous history of mobilization, even without allowances or being supervised. Your Excellency, we therefore want to thank you for lighting the candle, and we have not covered it with a bushel, just like in Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. Indeed, Fronansa, NRA, UPDF candle is there for the whole world to see. That's why even on the celebrations in Busoga, you saw very many guests, including the powerful delegations from the East African community. And to date, Your Excellency, we can be proud that with your guidance, we have continued to build on the past sacrifices to continue professionalizing the force so that we can make it fit for purpose. And with your visionary leadership, we will continue to do so, to do much with less in capacity building, capacity enhancement, 
to ensure that we build or continue to build a professional, effective, efficient, motivated, and accountable force. We are slowly but assuredly becoming a highly productive force also, so that we can contribute to the national development of the country. We are putting contiguous planning as a deliberate tool, as Your Excellency has guided, so that we move away from ad hocism. We are also dealing or working on a number of welfare aspects to do a deeper discourse on a number of them, like free education for our soldiers' children in both government and army schools. So far, we have 11 secondary schools and 37 primary schools in the various um, units of the Uganda People's Defense, Defense Forces. We want to report once again that this year was a very good one for us as far as performance in our schools is concerned. And this is in line with your guidance to eventually have even an armed forces university for the same children after A level. Duty free um, shop. We have improved in the free medical services, the members of the defense forces, and even our veterans in more than 160 facilities all over the country in our units, zonal hospitals, and uh, we're working on the national referral hospital so that our soldiers and veterans continue to benefit freely from these medical services. We are working also on accommodation and the improvement of military education facilities so that they become centers of excellence. We are taking your guidance very, very seriously. We have included welfare after service in the bill that will be coming before Parliament so that even those who have made or contributed to the situation we're enjoying now can also benefit from these services. UPDF will therefore remain steadfast in contributing to Uganda's journey to modernity by providing a secure and stable environment because without security, there can never be development. Our recently launched establishment will assist us to achieve more heads on our journey to professionalism and the modernization of the force. Let us use this occasion to ensure increased commitment and contribution to the greater cause that lies ahead Recognizing the sacrifice of the force allows consolidation of our ideological identity and overall maintenance of our revolutionary message. To thank the organizers of this function, especially led by our Under Secretary, Finance and Administration, Mrs. Edith Buturo, and all her members the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, the corporate world who contributed 
to the success of this function and also the Tarei Sita celebrations in the Busoga region, the media for good coverage, and obviously I want to thank everybody who honored our invitation because we could have called you, we could have invited you, and you refused to come. But that you have come, we really don't take it for granted. We thank you very much. <laughs> Lastly, Your Excellency, I want to also thank you for finding time to come and grace this occasion with your presence. And I want to thank the people of Uganda for untiringly standing side by side with the UPDF all the time. We will also continue to stand with you and our motherland through the thick and thin. I want to thank you for listening to me, for God and my country. So, what are you? Mm. Permit me to call a few uh, corporate bodies and the companies and agencies that have been uh, uh, working with us to have this occasion uh, successfully uh, conducted. I will... Uh, Water and Storage Corporation. We thank you. The second is the group chairman of Movit Pro Products Limited. Next is the Commissioner General, Uganda Revenue Authority. Next is a Stamic Bank, Uganda Limited. Next is the Chief Executive Officer, Sodalin Limited. Next is the Chief Executive Director, National Forest Authority. Executive Director, Million Trees International Organization. Next is Executive Director, Dr. Aguar I Hospital. Executive Director, Ruero Industries Limited. in the banana industry investment. Bank investment. Is Mbara Technical and Engineering Services Limited, retired Sergeant Mugaruche George. No, that's the right. Next is the General Manager, Crest Tank Limited. Next is the Manager, Madvan Group of Companies Limited. Next is Honorable and Mrs. Nathan Nabeta. Yeah. 